The Biden administration today announcing a nearly $2 billion investment in identifying and tracking COVID variants. News Nation correspondent Allison Harris is in Washington with how the money fights what officials are calling a spring wave of variants surging across the country. The White House and CDC are in a tight race with the virus. The Biden administration announced today it plans to spend $1.7 billion to fight what officials are calling a spring wave in COVID variants surging across the country. Even with vaccine doses now topping 200 million, hospitalizations are rising in more than half the country. More dangerous variants are growing, causing increases in cases with people without immunity. This increases the urgency for you to get vaccinated. The COVID variant first found in Great Britain is now the most dominant strain in this country, and new infections are hitting the young, who the CDC says are largely unvaccinated, especially hard. The new funding will help state labs better identify mutations in the virus. This week, Michigan reported 10,000 new infections on Tuesday alone. The governor calls the entire state a hotspot. Two dozen hospitals are at 90% capacity or higher. We have a tough couple of weeks ahead of us as more infectious B117 COVID variant continues spreading. This after a series of recent setbacks, a pause in Johnson and Johnson shots after six women, fewer than one in a million, developed rare blood clots. There have been a handful of so-called breakthrough cases, infections even after full vaccination. And Pfizer CEO said people who get their shots might need a booster a year out. But the biggest battle may be vaccine hesitancy. The nation's 37th mass vaccination site will soon open in Alabama, where 30% of residents say they won't get a shot. We want to make sure that we build uh, trust in the vaccine. As officials race to stay ahead of a fresh wave of infections, Monday, vaccinations open up to all American adults. In Washington, Allison Harris, News Nation.